In this video, I will show you daily candle close strategy that you can start immediately after you finish watching this video. So if you're interested, continue watching. As usual, I'm on my trading view chart and this time we'll be focusing on daily time frame. But if you have been here, you watch my videos, I always start my analysis from monthly. So even if the strategy is daily, that does not mean we start our analysis from daily. We, ta we, start, we start our analysis from higher time frame and our higher time frame in this case is monthly. So I will just click monthly. Let's go to monthly and see what is happening because we need to know the story of the price. We want to know what is this market telling us. So as usual, like I tell everyone who watches me and they want to analyze their chart, start from the highest point and then mark the lowest point. This helps you when you're placing your trend line. You don't, uh, you're not confused where to place the first trend line. So you'll just place your trend line as like, uh, 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 you just follow what I'm doing. You start from the highest point going to the lowest point. If you don't, uh, if this is the first time that you're seeing trend line video, there's a video on my channel that speaks about trend line. You can go and watch it out. So after I do that, let me adjust the trend line. And this strategy, I it works best on daily daily time frame. So if you are that person who goes to work and you are into Forex and you don't have time, you can do this, your analysis, check the market only once per day and you'll make money. Even if you, the rule can be, if I enter the trade, I will only look at the end of the day so that it will have uh, gone that candle close. So guys, I'm, I'm adjusting after I'm done with monthly i go to weekly so here is weekly time frame so i'm still adjusting this that line on the sell side so basically my analysis if you know how i analyze i like putting trend line for me to be guided what is happening so that is it the trend line has done then after that, we go to daily. So this is where all, everything now matters because the strategy is daily. So when you go to daily, we need to identify two things. And it, we need to identify our resistance and our support. It is very clear the resistance is the highest point of the market. And I can make this line black for you to see it. I can make this color black. So our resistance is that. And then now let me uh, try and look for support. So our support, the lowest point where you can see our support, it's like a very strong zone because it has been touched how many times? One, two, three. And now the market is almost was almost touching our place. So that is our resistance. Uh, support so guys if you can see something very very unique and you need to put this in mind the market is on the on uh on one place it's on a channel so the market is not breaking either up or down so these are very interesting market and we need to observe it but with the help of the trend line it is very easy to know which direction we are so that is the first thing that you do that's the first thing that you do. Mark the resistance and the support. So guys, I, after you have done that, the next thing that you do is you put put your put your 200 EMA because on a higher time frame, don't come here to put 20 EMA. Don't put 20 EMA. Why? Because higher time frame we will use we use a 200 EMA for long-term conf confirmation. Before even we put the 200 EMA, I just want to put another trend line here so that if the price break here, I told you there's always, there's another video on trend line. I said if the, 
the buyers break this zone they will come here if they break this zone they will come here and that's the power of trend line but now this strategy it is working on daily and i've chosen to analyze gbp jpy for a reason because uh you have to test this strategy with different pairs some work 80% some work 90% some work 50% so you need to know which pair are you um trading so in this case i'll give you this pair gbp jpy if you have not tried it try this uh, strategy with it so after, now we have our trend line in place we have our support and resistance and we are on a daily chart remember you're not going to four hour you're not going to two hour 30 minutes no you are sticking to to daily and you can only make a decision once per day that's how that strategy is very 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 unique because first of all it limits your time to be in front of your laptop so it just you just check the market once per day day so if you choose a pair that pair you stay off it until the candle closes so in this case um the next thing that now we need to do is to put our moving average and i've told you don't put 20 or 50 put 200 all we need to know is that sometimes you may come to daily and see this is a downtrend and try to sell here because the trend line has been touched now you want to sell here all the way to back to support but if the moving average tell us you're not on downtrend you'll be in trouble so that's why i love uh moving average for me to know overall where where are we so if we put the moving average like that we know that if the price is above the moving average the price the market is on a strong uptrend so even if i squeeze this chart like that let me try to squeeze this chart if i try to squeeze this chart you can see it has been on uptrend this one is a was a, just a channel that was like a sideways market so basically if you put the 200 ema you don't now overthink and you stop seeing the the low lows and the low highs the market is making inside the channel now you shift your mind to this is an uptrend is just on a channel and if i'm to do something i need to buy i don't need to sell i need to buy so the second thing you put you are 200 ema after now you put your 200 ema the third thing is to know call to action what do you want to see if this uh in this market what are you coming to and what are you anticipating every candle close every day so you just know if this market there are two things you can come here because it's very close to that trend line there are two things if this market the candle closes like that if it closes above that trend line i will buy i will buy in this case the reason why we buy immediately is because i have come to realize gpp jpy does not retest if it keeps uh, uh if it keeps not breaking a trend line for so many months whenever that trend line is broken that market just move it moves as fast as i don't know i don't know what i can compare with but it moves so quickly so there's no time for retest on gbp jpy i don't know about other pairs on daily chart but on gbp jpy if it breaks here we are getting into that buy if it comes and break this trend line we are not and we are not interested we are only interested if it breaks our 200 ema if our 200 ema is broken that's when we'll know now sellers are ready to get into the market but before it has done the two things we are not getting in the market so guys i've told you what to look i've said first make sure you have put your trend line in place you have put your support resistance and now you have placed your 200 ema to know which side are you on in the market if you're both sides you're a seller you're a buyer sometimes you lose either way but if you pick a side and you lose you'll know your mistake so guys let's now do the playback uh to know uh if the market will approach either on the upside i've said if it breaks here it is coming to the next trend line if it comes to our trend line on the 200 ema 
all we need to see is a reaction on the 200 EMA. That's all. If you don't see the reaction, you're not getting into buy. What kind of a reaction? You need to see like a doji or a rejection, weak rejection candle, or we see a very big momentum bullish candle to get or get involved in the buy. So let's now see what really happened after the touch of the trend line. So you can see the market is trying to approach, touch to the trend line again. Now it's coming down. Let's see what, what will happen. So remember at this moment, we are not, uh, we didn't enter this cell because we know the price is above the 200 EMA. The minute you start getting into cell, I think it rubs everything that you had analyzed. So we will keep off this market for how many days? One, two, three. For five, for five days, you're not getting involved with GBP, JPO, but you are checking every day. And that's why I've said this strategy, you can just pick any pair, pick a pair that you have never traded and try to trade it every day. Uh, uh, and sometimes it may take two, three, four days for an entry. So there's something that is special on this day that the market was touching our 200 EMA. At this moment, now we are preparing for entry because it has done what we wanted we wanted the price to touch the 200 dma for us to do a buy because uh we are we are hoping it will react so unfortunately that's how the candle closed so we wait for the next candle for indication that this sell momentum has depleted and it is done so let me continue let me see the next candle so that is the next candle. The next candle is very small compared to that candle that was very big on that uh, 200 DMA. So let me continue. So for me, for me, sorry, for me, when I get the, the first bullish candle, even if it's not big, when I get the bullish candle, immediately I know buyers have gotten uh i have uh, sellers are rejected and they're not pushing this market down so my entry basically would have been with that small candle this small candle that would me would be my entry and where would i target i would have targeted uh back to the trend line uh sometimes i find before the market hits the trend line it sometimes play are around these zones where the the previous high it is so for me instead of targeting my tp on the trend line i like putting it where the bodies closed the uh the previous high so uh that's my that's my take profit i can even lower it just a small bit because i don't want the market to come all the way missing my tp and then going back so let me see so uh this big candle of course it was a whole day of that big candle it's just that i was slow to stop the playback so let's see what really happened so and if we waited for another day two days the price would have hit our tp and something so something so special with this market it has hit our tp and also it has gone to the trend line so again we cannot we cannot uh buy if the market has not approached our we cannot buy if it has not approached our 200 dma so for now we are not interested in buy but we can buy if this trend line gets broken if it gets broken well we will we will buy so let me adjust if it gets broken we are buying this market so let's see it has reacted again um or come all the way and touched again remember guys we had said if it breaks we want to if it breaks, we want to buy. If it comes to a 200 react, we still want to buy. So that was a good buy entry again. So we do have put our buys here because that's where the candle closes. And then our stop loss just below. And then the profit, um, the profit at that 
end of those bodies of the candles, the previous high. So that's, that is it. So we have two trades, even if it is slow. The, the the reason why people many people don't like the daily chart it's because you have to be patient for two three even a week so let's pray play the uh, the button to see if the market will obey our and the, i think the tp is hit but it's not clear again yeah, there now it's clear the tp was hit so for me how how i find the daily chart analysis or daily chart strategy or daily candle close whichever name you want to give it it give you room for watching the market and trying to know what is the market telling you so you don't have pressure to get into a market because you have to wait for candle close to make such a decision so for us we would have entered again like i said when a trend line is broken, there is no much retest. So the stop loss will just below that uh, big candle will target to our trend line. So let's see if that market, and as you can see it is small, but there are so many pips, 132 pips. Let's see what happened. So after the breakage, you see, we just needed one day to break that market sometimes 98 percent of the times gbpjp does not retest remember there are videos that i have done break and retest and audi usd uh it is very or it is known for that audi usd you can't it can't break a zone and then fail to retest so pairs seem different pairs work different so for me uh that was a good win and if now we want to target this zone, we can see clearly it has broken the trend line. So immediately we want to get involved in this trade. So at this time, everyone thinks this market is overbought. But for you, you just know what you're doing. So we can target the resistance like that and try and see what really happens so we want to see what happens so the market is still approaching upwards so we are not in danger of our stop loss being hit and that is it so guys that is how you trade daily charts once a line is broken on daily chart it has to, it has to obey that so guys, if you have been struggling with a strategy, try daily chart one candle per day. It's just the close of that candle that can make a very big difference. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.